rat race we call life Mama taught me to be good, very nice Dad brought me up to be polite that we just uploaded a new video. of the Lost Ark. Look at my video camera from 100. Cigarettes were the huge. Ashtrays everywhere with half they the didn't know it cigarettes. killed you. Oh, look at the canisters. Do you remember those with the with the roosters on them? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is some kind of stove right here. It's awesome. Yeah. Olio, 15 cents. Remember we were talking about Olio? Like Walter Cronkite. Look at the phone, and he got it to the phone. This looks like my grandma had. My grandma had a uh, end table just like that. With the two tiers. Oh my god. I think they were called milk something or other. When I was a kid, you could buy pink and green. Oh my gosh, honey.
right here, right here. Look at that one, honey. Had a record player, a radio. Hey you guys, Kid Hollywood here from Spandex Nation. Uh, anyway, headed to go see a party right now. It's for one of my biggest, greatest fans. Her name is Cindy Cowley, and uh, she's celebrating her 50th birthday, and I'm gonna surprise her right now at Pizza Rock. Here we go. I didn't bank on the big windows right here that I just had to pass. I'm trying to sneak in the place. Look at these big freaking windows. Look at this. No. Oh my gosh! I don't think people are paying attention. Though. Hopefully not. I'm about to find out. Here you go, Diana. What's up? I'm here for a Cindy Cowley's party. I don't know where that is. Joel, yeah. Right hand side. All right, here we go. Wow, look, a lot of people are looking at me too. Oh, look, there's Risa. She's breaking the rock. Ah, Risa, I gotta go in. Sorry. It's his fault. Joel. <laughs> Look at that. This is so cool, Cindy. <laughs> hey, I got us both in here, kind of. <laughs> this is so That awesome. thing is killer. Oh my gosh. Look at Joel rocking right there. Yeah. He's a character. Wow. I look like, hey, where's the gym on this one? <laughs> Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna sign this sucker. Okay. Cindy, you do. get me. Now the birthday okay. girl's gonna get me signing this awesome. Yes. Look at Klaus. I know, Klaus. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it right here by this one. This okay, that, uh, that's my favorite one. That's my sister kissing your cheek. <laughs> or, or attempting. Attempting. <laughs> what's best is um, Peter's facial expression in that picture. That's what's awesome. I didn't touch his Yes. I for my name. I know. Do yeah. I, who is this? That's Jeff Blades, my ranger. Why well, can't sign over his face? <laughs> You can sign. Over mine. No, sign over his. I'll put it right yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> sign over his. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yes. Thank you. Happy birthday, Sydney. Thank so you. Awesome. That's Joel. He's he did it. He's the one that he's the blame. It's him. <laughs> Officer. <laughs> Give you a killer video. Oh my god! I mean, me. I have wow. no idea. That's pretty kill. <laughs> Where's Joel? Jazz hands. Yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> 
I can't wait to turn 50. That's not gonna be very far away. <laughs> May, May 16th. May, oh, May is that? I'm a maybe. Oh. <laughs> Come on in, Billy. You want to take a picture right here? Everybody. You're fine. You're Bye, you guys. Thank you, Joel. I'll see you guys in a few. Bye, you guys. Bye. See you at the rock show. If Joel and Cindy have been our friends for 30 years. That was nice of you to do that. It means a lot to them. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Trust me. That was awesome. I think that was a great job, Joel. You did killer. And I think we totally surprised Cindy. Thanks, Diana. That was awesome. Onward. Let's go. Wow. Look at that, man. That looks incredible. That crane is just sitting up there, man. Wow. I used to park right there. <laughs> what can I say? That was so much fun. I feel so blessed to be able to do that. And I love Jennifer and Rock. <laughs> hey guys, so I made it back to uh, uh, my stage. And uh, just ready to do some rockin' and rollin' tonight, man. I'm so thankful for all the awesome subscribers, man. Thank you guys for subscribing to Spandex Nation Unmasked. Guys, so I just am hearing about this, but apparently since the Las Vegas club is gone now, the birds have nowhere to go, which means they are now going up into the rafters of our stage. And they're pooping on everybody. <laughs> um, I heard that they pooped on Kevin uh, Slither. You know, that might be a good possibility. And then I heard uh, a bird almost tried to poop on me. And I'm over here like, oh God. All right, so wait a minute, man. Do you have to tell me about the Michael Dane gang or whatever uh, that band Mike was. Uh, <laughs> oh, Michael Ray. Oh my God. Uh, not the band. I'm talking about the birds. The birds kept flying in with new tree branches and we just got them off of there. <laughs> we already saw a nest from them and as soon as they took off the nest, that's when the birds started to fly back and started oh to fly gosh. with new branches. <laughs> <laughs> no thing. Uh, like naked and afraid. They have only 12 hours to build a place, right? Uh, and they're looking for leaves and stuff. Meanwhile, this guy's setting up. And these guys are like, look, we've been telling like, who are our bosses. They're building a nest up there. You got these headliners coming and they're going to poop on them. And they're, one of three things is going to happen. What, what did you say? Okay, first thing. <laughs> In my mind, it was they could get mad at us. Second thing is, they could have a reaction of laughter. Right, it could be funny. And third thing is, they could blame it all on us and take it out on us. Right. It, it was running through my mind so much because of those birds. I know, but you saw birds and then you're like, oh gosh, oh. But then, they flew away, so it was a good night. It was a good night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You would not, if some, if a bird poops in my ear right now before I start, well, I'm gonna be looking up there and be all, ooh, ooh, ooh. and scare them. I need to find out what, what pigeons don't like. They do not like rice, but that will blow them up. So don't do that. No, not like a sound that will make them like, ha! Probably. <laughs> Did you just say that? They don't like loud music. They don't like loud music and they don't like bright lights. This could be like when you buy a house by the train tracks. Eh, it's cheap, it's warm, it's a little loud. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to sleep here. And then the smoke machine, dude. I mean, come on, dude. I gotta go. You gotta see this, you guys. This is where. This part 
poor girl's trying to do her dance. I'm out here with the freaking camera. Yeah, like they're building a house around here somewhere. Cause that house is gone. Yeah, they're up here somewhere, man. <laughs> Better not poop on me, man. Be in my wig. Be in my weave. Don't be pooping on my head, man. I got an idea. Maybe what I could do.
Like, dude, there was like six birds in my house, in the pool. Like, you know, I think they were fighting. They wanted to save their family. Let me out, let me out. <laughs> killer, there's a killer on the corner, killer on the corner. They don't even go by my house, and I don't think it's the owl. Is it the owl there? Yeah, I think it's the whole, oh, every, the, the urban legend of the corn, the house on the corner. Oh, we're going to go to his house. No. We're going to go to his house. Yeah. We're going to fly over. That's, we're not going in. <laughs> That's what I think. But anyway, yeah. Oh, oh my god, so. Instead of the owls, to get rid of the pigeons. Disappear, I never got it back. Actually, we threw that away, I think. Why? Right, because we're not supposed to have those, huh? No, Are they it's though? because we, 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 uh, we got tired of the noise. Thanks. Oh, you're like, we're getting rid of this. <laughs> we seriously got tired of it, and I was like, uh, we gotta get a dispose of it. You know what these guys did? We had some chicken for men, and she liked to play tambourine, except she didn't play it on time. So they would hide it. <laughs> She brought another one, man. Oh, you know, they're like, ah, oh, forget it. So, same thing. I see that, that thing. What is that all about down there? Where, brother? Oh. up on my friend Patty, she's never here. I think it's awesome and she's gonna be like in a week, she's gonna go back home and I won't see her for like a few months. You guys know Patty. Good show. Thank you guys, thank you.
Happy holidays to everybody. Spandex Nation is in full force all the way to New Year's. Thank you guys for coming to the show. Thank you to Cindy Cowley, of course, Joe Cowley, and all our family and friends that came down tonight for Cindy's 50th. You guys rock. It's so special. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. Spandex Nation! Sir. Sure.